Um, we're looking at the future Burlington Co. Factory. Um, right now we're at the front of the store location. Uh, this appears to be a break room. There's a sink here. Uh, it's set up on a pump system. Uh, when I drain the water, it goes into this bucket and then it pumps it out. Um, I guess my concern is with the pump is the uh, there's no check valve. There's a shutoff valve, but no check valve. So when the pump pumps, all the water when it's done pumping comes back into the bucket, which is going to pretty much kill the life expectancy of the pump. So a check valve should go into place. Also, I noticed that they reduced all of these openings. Um, you know, I'd have to look at the manufacturer specifications and then um, also the pumps going and pumping up in this room. So it's all blocked off, but uh, that, that's some head pressure. So that would be another thing uh, would be a concern is making sure that that's the right pump uh, for that type of head pressure. I'm just going to walk back here to the uh, restrooms and give you guys just a overall perspective of everything. Uh, the facility is really nice. Um, it could use a little cleaning, but other than that, everything is in pretty pretty good working order. Um, the drinking fountains is going to be the first thing that we're going to approach. This is your standard LK high low. Um, I ran those. They did indeed. Uh, the compressor did kick on. Um, I checked all these faucets, sink faucets, and they all all the sensors seem to be working. Um, toilets, the same thing. I kind of pretended I was sitting on them. They all functioned well. The floor drains, they have trap seals down there, kind of hard to pick up. Um, not that this is me, but the uh, hand dryers work as well. I'll give you a little tour of the men's. Same thing, sinks all seem to be in good working order, draining well, um, urinals flushing good, and then there's the one water closet there, hand dryer works. Uh, moving back into the back room, you, there's some questions about the meter, um, CPVC, um, I guess not really what I would put in today, but um, in its time it was, it was good and I don't see any issues with um, What's going on all the work seems really clean well braced um, moving back to the water heater mop sink not really a room for it but everything seems up to speed as far as that's concerned um, basically got looks like a zern faucet here 24 by 24 mop uh, looks like a commercial water heater uh, proper vacuum breaker expansion tank and then uh, it looks like they got a research line on this thing as well. Uh, and it looks to be a commercial model uh, electric. So uh, that's a ream there. Uh, we're getting ready to do the uh, camera work. We found the clean out here. So you can look for that video. And then um, the last thing I've seen on the checklist was the gas meter. Uh, all the gases ran on the roof. Uh, there's one penetration in here that goes to um, that unit back there. Uh, by the bay door that drops in and uh, basically outside the back door here the gas meter and that's a two inch meter so um facility seems really nice uh the only objection i have like like i said that i've seen any potential issues is the uh the pump system at this front room front break room i'm gonna call it the break room sink all right thank you so much